who do you have uh, standing next to you over there on the mantle? Well, let me introduce you. <laughs> this is me. <laughs> <laughs> is this a fan creation? This is a brilliant guy called Daniel. Uh, you're not going to believe this. His a- actual name is Daniel Jackson. And he runs a company yeah. <laughs> called Level 28 Toys. And uh, he made this for me. I'm going to try and get her my light here. Wow, as- look at the detail. But just look at the detail. The hand device, the dress, the the face. I don't know if I can bring her. She's even got green eyes like me. Oh, my gosh. Angle. Um, I'll take some pictures and send them to you. Yes, please. <laughs> this is not working. But, yeah, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't she spectacular? That is so like, cool. Yeah, she's amazing. And she her hands move, like everything moves. Oh, she's opposable. Yeah. You have an opposable self. That's a little... Um... That's right. Look, oh my God, I've just realized her wrists move as well. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. She doesn't talk like that. I don't know why I'm talking, making her talk like that. Oh God, that's great. How I was... Just her hair. <laughs> How was the costume? Because uh, you had, you had, you did have a couple, but that first uh, that initial costume. This costume, let me tell you, I don't know what it is about me in terms of acting as an actress. I have like, I think there's something, you know, when they always talk about people are, you, you draw the thing you fear most towards you. <laughs> like, I seem to have that with costumes. <laughs> I have like the costumes that are the most uncomfortable the most tricky. I mean, it was incredibly difficult to wear this because this part is so good that we've got it for show and tell. So this part here, they made out of metal, the straps, these straps here. That, oh, I just poked her in the booth. Whoops, sorry. <laughs> Harassment. <laughs> and um, so they would like chafe into me because it was metal. Oh. And then after the first day, I had these deep grooves of metal cuts virtually into my neck. And they, they kind of went, oh, no, we can't have that. Um, so they then kind of cushioned them, but they could only do the back because yeah. uh, the front, you could see the, the cushioning. Oh, so no. I, would, I literally would have to like move it and then set it before a scene yeah. and try not to move. And then the bodice was so tight that I couldn't sit on set. So they had a board for me and I would like be, I would be lent up against the board like this. And then I'd like prop me back up. Literally, they would like wheel me on on this board and then whoops, prop me back up. I mean, crazy, crazy, crazy tight. Uh, Going to the loo was a no-no. So it was a nightmare because I'd get back to the hotel in the evening and be completely dehydrated because I would have yeah. not drunk any water. Um, wow. So the costume was a challenge. But as you and I were chatting before the show, when I saw the sketches for what I could have been wearing, I was like, oh, I love the costume. I love it. I love it. You know? Are you ready for because, this one? Go ahead. Oh, Keep my going. God. As I said, like literally the one sketch I saw, it was like a coat hanger. It looked like a coat, a metal coat hanger that had been like twisted over her boobs and then sort of nothing in the front. I was like, um, okay. Uh, and then also the thing that went underneath and I had to wear that thing with the the light on that, you know, gives the ghoul babies. Yes, I had on to your wear chest that or, or your stomach. Under this. Yeah. Yes. Wow. And that was really uncomfortable because of course it wasn't, light it was and then the hand device was really tricky as well because it was actually heavy and metal Mm -hmm. and each finger had to be put on individually um so i couldn't really do anything once it was on you know i was i had the other hand but (laughs) it was like it was a very prohibitive costume let's put it that way but it looked fab so hey who cares (laughs) so you've seen uh the concept art of the the back of hathor of coming out do you have that image on your phone still so you can show that I, to fans. Bear with me. Bear with me. Yeah. Um, and then I'll show you one that you've. If if. Yes. Here we go. Okay. If we can see, uh, let's get up the light yeah. there. So that's one of the can one of the originals see? there. She's naked. She is naked, everybody. Well, <laughs> if you think that that's naked, wait until you see this. Oh, I'm not sure. I want to see. <laughs> no, no. Get going. Go. Well, I can't see. Oh, hello. 
I'm... Yes, that is quite quite naked. Yes. So the concept art um there I it, am. it was sh- it was showtime. Woohoo! <laughs> yes, that's right. <laughs> Get the twins out. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> So I guess Maybe costume or no costume. Back. Hey, you know, yeah, never, really. never know. <laughs> uh, Teresa McAllister wants to know, Sue Ann, do you follow a fitness program? I mean, it's either that or you've got your own sarcophagus. Oh, that's very sweet. Um, no, I am. In fact, uh, fitness is a, an ongoing challenging aspect of my life and my career because I like to eat. I'm, I'm an eater. Um, a foodie and yeah i'm a foodie big time and although i must say uh in the last sort of year or so i've been you know had to really just kind of go no i've got to be better um but fitness it, it bores the hell out of me i like standing in a gym and running on a treadmill going nowhere or a bicycle doing i can't get into that so i have i do love dancing i absolutely love 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 dancing and I have, funny enough, during lockdown on the days when I've had and I've felt really blue, I've literally got up and just danced around the kitchen and danced for like, I'll pick a really long track and then put my headphones in and dance. And it's amazing. Five minutes or three minutes and you kind of go, I'm out of breath and I feel a bit better. And then I'm all right because then I can kind of go, all right, I'll go and do a walk or I'll do stuff. You release endorphins and, the, and it doesn't exactly. take much to do it. And it's something that we all forget about. Yeah. Exactly. Um, and then everything else is good lighting, although this isn't great lighting at the moment. <laughs> but never mind. <laughs> it's a custom made home set. So. I tell you what, David, I bet you're learning about this too with the, doing the show. I was like, <laughs> so yeah, I'm so learning about lighting. I've got a, um, <laughs> like, I've got a, Ah, no, no yes, a window. See, so I've got a, I've got a window. Right, oh my God, I've not decorated very well. But this, yeah, so I've got a huge light here is my, yes. is my key. And right. it's it's so wonderful to have because all I do is just adjust the blinds for the next um, uh, guest yeah. because the sun has gone a little bit up. But when it goes, it goes. So I have yeah. a light that's on the floor behind me that I turn on right. when it gets really dark. Yeah, I mean, and you're it's what ten o'clock, uh, ten thirty there. So I mean, yeah. what are you gonna do? You know, you got to make it work. Yeah, exactly. This uh, this changed my life though. This little light, which I haven't needed tonight, but it's an amazing light, which I got on Amazon. It's like a little USB. It's really light lightweight. Or what is it? Yeah, no, yeah, no, it's not USB. Oh. Um, but check this out. Like, I'm just gonna sorry. Like Bear little... with us, everyone. It oh. goes. It's amazing how bright it can go. It's got a little filter on it. Okay. But it can go. Oh, it's very bright. <laughs> so it's kind of like a fill. Super bright. Okay. Yeah. So you can have. I mean, that, that's obviously Whoa! Super bright. We're telling ghost stories. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so anyway, thank you very much to, to for that lovely Teresa. comment. I don't know. <laughs> lots of water. That's my that is my key. That is the one good thing I've always done is I drink lots of water. Good so. for you. <laughs> thank you for watching this clip from Dial the Gate. If you enjoyed the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up with that like button. It will encourage the algorithm to show this to other Stargate fans. Also, please consider sending this to a fellow Stargate friend. I also want to invite you to subscribe to future episodes right here on YouTube. We are a live show, so changes are likely to happen all the time. And if you plan on joining us live, you'll want to be the first to know. Be sure to visit dialthegate.com for the complete guest schedule so you'll know when to join us and ask your very own questions to our guests. See you on the other side.